folks, Jonathan again. Uh, we've got our tires in, our tubes in. We're getting them mounted up. Uh, we've got that other rim sandblasting painted. I hadn't striped it yet. We're going to try to get the uh, tires on these three. And uh, we're going to get the white walls cleaned up. We'll get them on the car. Uh, a couple things. Uh, about the, One thing about the paint, I had a lot of people say, well, uh, you know, one, one shot paint and all that. And I understand that. I don't think everybody understood what my predicament was. I was in a hurry as in I needed to get something that day. Uh, I mean, I can order cases of it online, but it takes a while to get here. Well, I'm not real local to a whole lot. Uh, I guess the uh, Hobby Lobby is probably 20 something miles away from me, so in Sanford. And I, you know, 20 something miles away and then 20 something miles back, I mean, that's 40 miles, and by the time you get done, you've done drove an hour, so. Uh, I really would rather stay here and work than drive an hour. So uh, that's what I was meaning about the paint. It wasn't that I couldn't get none online or nothing like that. It was that I was in a hurry. Uh, another thing. Uh, let me see. The dent in the front of the car. I'm going to show you that. All right. There is the wheels and tires. Before I take the uh, clean the white walls up. Anyway, looking pretty good. I like it. All right. Here's the dent, everybody. Well couple of people talking about uh, that bent, dent seems to bother some people real bad not quite sure why uh, OCD maybe but when I have this wheel off I'm gonna try to hammer that out luckily it's forward and not up and you know not up at the top this is up the top and you're trying to swing up on it it would be hard but we'll see if we can get it out and I'll dolly it some just to make you happy okay folks there you go best I could get it on short notice so we hammered and dollared it out all right into the sea can we we spray them again this is our AC compressor it's got a Yorks all right. I didn't say motorcraft, I said a York. Alright, let me get some spray. Okay, it's in there. We just haven't made it down to it. That's the generator. The distributor's down here. Yeah, that's the flathead pitch. I guarantee that's what happened is the hood was up and it sat for a long time and then somebody shut it. And then they bent the uh that ain't nothing but pure mulch. Mulch. That good mulch, that's good for a damn. Yeah, you made a hell of a garden with that stuff. Well. Uh, I don't doubt that. <laughs> but I only damn near those you too. <laughs> ain't nothing that old. <laughs> Alright, folks, we're getting there. There is an engine in here. All right, we only found one dead animal in here. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's either a rat, and I ain't talking about a mouse, because it's a pretty good size. So, we're just about to the point where it's gonna take some air or something to blow it on. Where I'm at, where I've got this thing sitting ahead, I can't get the air hose to it. We almost decided to uh, set it on fire, but... Alright, we'll bring it back. Okay, folks, we finally broke out the uh, leaf blower and got most of it out. So at least we can see we got an engine. And thank goodness we got a nut filter on it. So uh, what we're going to do now, the way they got this AC on there, this fan wasn't making much contact with the uh, 
with the belt. I don't know how the water pump was running it off with that AC on it. So uh, what we're going to do is get a battery because we can't get to the crank to turn it over. But get a battery and just see if the engine's stuck. See if it rolls over and then uh, we'll go from there. Alright, battery's in. Let's see if the solenoid will short out. And it'll turn over. I don't want the angle. Ain't turning, Charlie. Should try it. The engine's definitely stuck. We're gonna debate on what we're gonna do here and uh, we'll figure something out. Okay, folks, this is one of the garnish moldings out of the Chevrolet 39. And I've been wanting to learn how to do wood grain. So my conclusion I came to, what I personally like the best and uh, what's the easiest and quickest is the technique I'm fixing to do on this. Uh, first off, I painted it and I painted it with that, an almond color and light brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over it. This has been, I painted this earlier today, it's dry, good to go. I'm going to go back over it with a dark brown and then we're going to put the put the uh, I'm probably going to do a little bit of it at a time I'm not going to do the entire thing at once but we'll put the wood grain in or the style and I don't even know if you can call it wood grain it's going to be more like a burl look would be and there's other ways to enhance it but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to do it pretty simple and show you what it looks like okay so what we need for this is of course the brown I painted on there and then we got a darker brown and I'll show you the caps to these uh, light brown dark brown now this is not I don't think it's a little bit darker than the paint that I actually uh, painted our pinstripes with but this is actually the, the color I used on the wheels that's one reason I another reason I went with that color is because I knew that I've, I've been needing to get some because I've been wanting to do this for quite a while so what we're gonna do is we've got a cheap I think it's a Walmart bag. Yeah, just a cheap Walmart bag and the brown paint. And just remember, no matter what you mess up, you can always fix. Not a big deal. So we'll start. Hopefully, you can see. We're gonna start right here. And you don't have to put it on real heavy or anything like that. And I don't like taking too much off. But that's okay. We can fix it. It's your own happy little world. Put your little squirrels where you want to. I think that's what old Bob brought. Bob Ross used to say. There you go. And that's what I want. Exactly what I want. So, touch it easy. Alright, let me keep at it. Since this kind of looks different than this one, because I doubled it, we're going to have to double everything. Go back over a little bit. And then hit it again. I like it. That's what I want. It's going good so far. All right. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to go ahead and get this finished. I'll do it on camera, I guess. I don't have a lot of time left on my card, but... Let 
know what you can see and what you can't see here. Main thing is just to be consistent. You know, if you do it a particular way here, you need to do it the same way. That's why I'm adding the extra coat. So we're going to turn this around. We'll split this in half, do half and half here. Now, let it dry a little clear. I think it'll look really well. Some people will like it, some people won't. Now, there's another thing you can do before, after you've painted it with the base color, go in and put some blue spot or some blue, some black spots in it. Then do the same thing I just done, and then your dark spots will shine through. Go to round them with a brush and it'll make them look like there's some little knots and stuff. More like burl. But this is a lot like burl. And once this is uh, clear coated, it'll look really good. So we'll do some more of it. Uh, I had this piece off anyway and just wanted to do it. So anyway, appreciate everybody watching. And until next time, bye.